This attention-seeking, perma-grinning gopher of a man is about to appear on I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. That means he'll spend several weeks in a jungle in Australia, pocketing a massive fee on top of his MP's salary, eating kangaroo testicles for public delectation. I never thought I'd say this, but I actually feel sorry for the kangaroo testicles. I spent six years as a judge on Britain and America's Got Talent, so another thing or two about entertainment TV and talent. And it got me thinking, why would they choose Matt Hancock? What are his special talents? Maybe, maybe it's singing. No, for the love of God, do stop him now. He's not a singer. What about acting? Look very carefully here. Look for tears. Just simple words there, reacting it. You're quite emotional about that. Well, it's just, uh, it's been, you know, it's been such a tough year for so many people and there's William Shakespeare putting it so simply for everybody that, you know, we can get on with our lives and... Yeah, not a single tear, was there? I've seen more emotion from the waxworks at Madame Tussauds. Matt's also a budding text whiz. Earlier this year, he became the first MP to enter the metaverse with his digital imagining of himself, bringing a whole new level of meaning to Instagram versus reality. So finally, what about his actual core skill? The one thing we know that he is supposed to be competent at, being a politician, the thing he's paid to do. Well, he was forced out as health secretary for snogging and groping his advisor during a lockdown, breaking his own lockdown rules. And before that, as health secretary during the pandemic, he said he was doing this to protect nursing homes. So right from the start, we've tried to throw a protective ring around our care homes. Well, we absolutely did uh, throw a protective ring around social care. We'll keep working to strengthen the protective ring that we've cast around all our care homes. Absolute nonsense. There was no protective ring. Quite the opposite. Hancock sent thousands of elderly patients from hospitals back to their nursing homes without testing them. That led to COVID spreading the wildfire inside those homes, causing countless more deaths than should ever have been allowed to happen. It was a deadly fiasco of a policy from a travesty of a health secretary with tragic consequences for thousands of families. I may shock you now, Mr Hancock, because I'm actually glad you're going to a remote, tarantula-infested jungle on the opposite side of the world. On behalf of the entire British public, I think I'm safe in saying, I hope you stay there.